For this project I used two types of wool, leftover curls, and wool fibers. I laid out the first layer of wool, horizontally. And the second layer of wool I laid out perpendicular to the first. The wool layout should be moistened with soapy water and lightly rubbed. I used a regular plastic bag for this. Now it's time for the décor. It will be some landscape. I laid out the décor of white curls. The layout of the rest of the décor was not included in the video, I forgot to turn on the camera. So sorry about that. I lathered the layout again. rubbed it through the mesh. I didn't find plastic gloves and used a plastic bag instead for better gliding. You need to rub it in carefully, so that the wool and curls adhere well. I was shaking the layout in the bubble wrap in different directions. First, slightly. Then, more intensively. I used this felting method instead of rolling in a roll. When the fibers bonded well with each other. I switched to felting in a plane without bubble wrap. Then I rinsed my product in warm water lathered again and continued my felting I repeated this process several times I rinsed it in water squeezed it into a ball several times lathered again and felted on the plane I paid special attention to the edges I need the pillowcase like dough, to shrink it to the right size. Threw it on the table. At the last stage, I need to work a little more to make it to the right size. I rolled the pillowcase up, and felted it for a while. So, I needed to work with the edge a little more. After rinsing, I wring out the product in a towel.
spread out on the table. And immediately steam it with a hot iron. The felted part of the pillowcase is ready. I made the second part of the pillowcase from fabric. I decided to make a fabric frame for the felted part of the pillowcase. I cut four strips of fabric, seven centimeters wide, and sewed them at a 45 degree angle. Then, I pinned the fabric frame to the felted part of the pillow and stitched it. I cut the other side of the pillowcase into two parts to sew in the zipper. So, the pillowcase can be easily removed and washed. First, I sewed one side of the zipper. Then the other. I pinned both parts of the pillowcase with pins, and sewed them together, remembering to open the zipper before. twisted it. My pillowcase is complete. This is what the finished pillow looks like.